And my hope as President of the United States will be to say to Russia, to China, to India, to countries all over this world, that maybe instead of spending a trillion and a half dollars every single year on weapons of destruction designed to kill each other, maybe we combine our resources and combat our common enemy, uh, which is climate change. They're not for world government, no. Well, today, 2020 Democrat candidate Sanders, he unveiled a $16 trillion Green New Deal. With a T, trillion. His plan includes declaring a climate emergency, running the whole country on green energy, and government jobs for whomever wants them. It's only the latest Democrat plan to dramatically reshape the country in your life. So what would life actually be like? under these Bernie plans. Here now is Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union, Democrat strategist, Monique Presley, as well is with us. Monique, please tell me how this, I mean, it sounds nice. I mean, everyone should just get along and, you know, I, yeah, I agree, everyone should get along. We shouldn't have to have any weapons. That would be great. Uh, that would be fantastic. But how is this actually feasible uh, economically and even physically possible to accomplish? Well, some parts of it maybe are not physically possible to accomplish right now. The plan that he rolled out uh, is one that's going to, in my opinion, take a lifetime and a few people's lifetimes to accomplish. It's definitely ambitious. It's not my favorite out of all of the candidates out there who have plans, but there are things that are important. One, recognizing that climate is an issue that can no longer be ignored and that we can't be in this land of climate change, climate crisis denying and actually have some Something left for our children and our grandchildren. So, yep. in terms of goals, it's necessary. In yep. terms of the amount of money that's well, being spent and whether um, it can be done okay, here. Go. Yeah, 200 by 2050, right. fully decarbonize the so, economy. Fully. This is hard because we're, we're like I all mean, made of carbon and we're spewing well, carbon dioxide. Is 200 speaking. billion dollars to help poor countries do their own climate stuff. I'd like to put that into Baltimore, Chicago, yeah, right. L.A., yeah. San Francisco. I'd like to not fight these foreign wars either. Yeah. I agree with Bernie on that. Bernie and I agree on like a lot of the military intervention. I'm totally right. with him on a lot of that stuff. But it, this is just, I'm sorry, but it's, I don't like to say it, but it is crazy. It At is, some point, but this, you have to the get... goal, if you want a goal of having a better, that's fine. But the, these bullet points, these are facts. These are things that he says he can do. But we have to give him some credit. Why does his plan cost more? Because he's the first candidate to actually say, well, if we're really going to decarbonize our economy, we have to do some really expensive things. By the way, it's not $16 trillion. To decarbonize our society, which is how our whole economy runs on fossil fuels, uh, it's going to cost a lot more than that. So I give him some credit for saying what it's about, but it is Looney Tunes, because you know in the end who pays for this, Laura? Every middle class family well, that tries to fill their tank with rich fuel, people can pay for try to... Yeah, that's right. Rich people, I guess, like the Obamas and others. But the the one percent in the end, when they say they're going after the one percent, the middle class better hold on to their umbrellas. Well, they're going to because it's going to rain on them. They'll be fine. They can they can figure it out. They always can figure it out. The rich people, it's the poor people, middle class. I'm concerned about. Apparently, and we just heard this, the DNC committee on the debates tonight decided that they're not doing a debate on climate change dedicated to climate change. So as popular as this is, I think among especially young people, they're they're, you know, that's a big thing. They don't want to talk about this because I think they know this is, for mixing my metaphors, radioactive. I think that they don't want to devote an entire debate to it. I wish they had. That's not something that I agree with, but I understand. What does that tell you and, about your confidence, Bonnie? Well, it's, it's not confidence in the issue needing to be addressed. It's confidence in where it lies among the voters, which is what matters. And to Senator Sanders' credit, and I agree with Matt, it's, gonna, it's an expensive proposition. But the reason why it's important to assist other countries is because to bankrupt it's, our country? Not, it's not something we can do alone. <laughs> We can be the best in the world at trying to combat climate change, but if the world isn't trying to combat You're it, right. then it okay. doesn't get done. All right, I agree with you. Every <laughs> every little drop that we don't use to fuel our economy, somebody else on the globe will use, and therefore there'll be no net benefit. We're just energy independent now, and now we got to give it all up.